Hey guys, so it's another challenge video, and oh, look at that bed head. <laughs> uh, anyway, I kind of technically have already done this challenge on my YouTube channel, but I didn't call it a challenge back when I did it. Um, it's the drawing with the mouse challenge, and just to help prove it to you guys, here is here is one of my tablets. It's not plugged in. Oh, it's totally far away, and then my other one. All the way ah, over here. Also, not plugged in. <laughs> I'll be using this sucker right here. Yep, for the entire picture from start to finish, uh, sketch to finish product. I'll put a link in the description to the previous video. Um, I didn't actually sketch the drawing in that video, I sketched it, then I scanned it, and then I did the rest of it with a mouse. But for this, it'll be 100% mouse, and <laughs> I've only ever done that once before, many, many, many years ago. Um, so this will be interesting to see how this turns out. Okay, let's go. Wish me luck. Alrighty then, so here we go, the mouse challenge. Very exciting. <laughs> Well, it was really funny that while I was working on this, this is actually reminiscent of how I used to draw because I didn't always have a tablet. Shocker, I know. Um, I actually got a tablet in when I first got into college. And before that, I was exclusively mouse only. What I would do is I would draw the pictures traditionally, then I would scan it in using my mom's scanner and then putting it into Photoshop and then using the pen tool to make line art because you can't really get super easy st nice strokes with the mouse. Um, I actually have a tutorial on how I used the pen tool back then so I'll put a link in the description. It's kind of an old video awkward commentary. Just ignore that. <laughs> I also used a blending technique that I'm pretty sure the only reason didn't work in this drawing was because I was an idiot and I accidentally made the canvas size so microscopically small <laughs> that it was just not going to work at all. So I don't think it's a mouse issue because I've used it with a mouse before and it's worked just fine. So it, it was totally the canvas size. And I'll also put a link in the description to the tool that I use to blend with this mouse. I actually use the same exact tool when I'm blending with the tablet just because it's super handy and it's really easy and it's very nice. And it is also a very old tutorial with awkward commentary. So, you know, just be on the lookout for that. So all that blah blah aside, back to the <laughs> artwork. Uh, this is my OC Mono. He is a man shark, my little shark boy baby, and I accidentally, totally very accident, drew him more like a serpent <laughs> than a shark. Because I was really wanting to have like this nice dynamic like S pose, and then sharks don't really do that, and I was just too into the mood. I was like, oh yeah, whipping the mouse back and forth, really into it, and yeah, he's apparently like a man shark snake now, which was unfortunate because <laughs> that's not what he's supposed to be. But whatever. I actually found that the sketching wasn't too bad. It, at first it was a bit intimidating because I'm not used to it. Um, so it was kind of like moving the mouse. I was, it's, it was important for me to find the right size brush. I think I ended up using a one or two. Two might have been too big because the stupid canvas was too small. So again, a lot of the problems came about because of the small canvas. <laughs> But once I got going, I kind of got into the flow and like how things worked because you're not going to have that pen pressure. Everything's going to be the exact same size throughout. So you really got to play with the brush settings and your options and things like that to get more of a better effect. <laughs> I don't know how to word that. The face was really where I struggled the most because of the stupidly small canvas. I'll never get over that and I'm not sorry I'm repeating it a lot. Um, it was such a small area with a lot of detail, so the blending and getting all that stuff right was very difficult. <laughs> I feel like this challenge would have been so much easier if I was not so stupid and I made a larger canvas. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw, I think the DPI was like 200 and I'm like, that's fine, that's big enough. And I wasn't paying attention to the pixels. Ugh. Anyway, back to this. So the background, I didn't want anything to be super complicated and it was kind of funny that I was working on this and I was doing those rays of light. I'm like, didn't I just do that recently? And it's like, oh yeah, the last video I uploaded. <laughs> or I guess not the last one, the last serious one. Though by this point, I already knew that the canvas was too small, so I was kind of just wanting to rush to get it over with. 
Because <laughs> I was like, I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter what I do. It's not going to be like anything at all because of this canvas size. And actually, I was really happy, and I still am really happy with the water at the top. Just the, the way that it worked out. I'm just motioning with my hands, and you guys can't see it, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> And then to kind of fill up the scene, I put in some really crappy fish, some rocks, and it's not even noticeable, but I try to put like a ground at the bottom and kind of blur it out. So it's like disappearing into the depths and I don't know. It's, I like the drawing. I would have liked it a lot more if the canvas size was bigger, but this was still a really fun challenge and I wouldn't mind doing it again. So hopefully this proves that you can make something with mice. <laughs> and digital artwork. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys haven't tried this challenge out yourself, I totally recommend it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!